Welcome to In the Shop. I'm Clay, and I am with Jeremiah Prophet, a longtime friend of mine uh, from Prophet's Resurrection Cruisers. Well, let's just talk Land Cruisers first. Like, what got you into Land Cruisers in the beginning? They're a vehicle that draws you in, mm -hmm. and uh, they've, they've worked their magic on a lot of people. And uh, my first experience was with a Land Cruiser that I bought just as a hunting vehicle uh -huh. and fixed it up a little bit in my garage when I was teaching school yeah. uh, on the weekends. And, and so that just sort of grew from that point uh, to, the, to the part of my life, the passion that it is today. So now you've been restoring cruisers for how many years? Well, s technically since 1995. Okay. Um, the business uh, opened, pr I would say, proper in uh, 2000. Okay. So quite some time now. Yep. Everybody wants an FJ40. Yeah. The, the price on them right now is through the roof. Why? There's a romantic angle to these. Yeah. And, and if you could put your finger on it, you could reproduce it. They just sort of capture you, don't they? They and do. And you want to get in them and drive them. Yeah. But this one has a pretty cool story. Yeah. The cruiser here served a tour of duty as the sheriff's department vehicle for Uray, Colorado, where the okay. FJ Summit is held. Yeah. The outgoing sheriff bought it and then continued ah. to use it as his personal vehicle. Okay. And it was used very, very well. Yeah. Um, 256,000 miles. Which wow. is a lot for an FJ40. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> and, and it showed it. And, but it was sure. all original and complete, so a really good start. To, uh, to a project, sure. and here it is all done. Uh, let's start with the paint. Customer selected this paint? He did. He selected the color. Um, I kept him within the parameters of f colors that were available for this year at J40. Sure. There are some bolt-on accessories. This needed to be very drivable. Yeah. It's got a five-speed transmission uh -huh. and traction aids in the form of ARV air lockers front and rear. Okay. But for the most part, we kept the original Toyota drivetrain mm. okay. and uh, all the other Toyota parts. I see the yellow classic Old Man Emu front stabilizer, but Bilstein shock. Generally, you'll see an Old Man Emu, but you went with Bilstein. There's just enough gray, the headlights, and then the gray on the IPF lights in the front, and the factory gray seats, this time done in leather, and the gray sure. roll cage, uh -huh. that a yellow shock just seemed too bold. Yeah. I wanted the more muted look of the you know, spun stainless. Bilstein. Yeah, oh, it looks really good. Tell me about this front bumper. So this is our front bumper. Okay. This is uh, Generation 2 Profits front FJ40 bar. Awesome. And you went, obviously went with the classic. 8274. 8274. They've been, in, they've been made forever, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, you, you could have bought this new with uh, that same winch on it. Um, Warren has kept that legacy going, and the 8274 is really the only winch that looks right on a blinker yeah, on an FJ40. Absolutely. It looks perfect. Yep. This yeah. one has a really high end. Is that? They're rigids. Those are ridges. Yeah, oh, ridges. Okay. Uh, headlights. Cool. And they're very, very nice. Yeah. Um, so this is okay. our shackle reversal design. Okay. It's enough of a drivability upgrade to where this will cruise down the road 75, 80. Nice. Very comfortably. Awesome. Tire size? A 33, 1050s, the best classic. size for a, yeah, for a classic FJ40. These are the factory wheels. 79 and up, they were all this white. What's under the hood? I know well, there's got to be a lot done under here. A lot of attention was paid under the hood, although this is the factory 2F engine. Wow. It was original to this vehicle. Are there some Toyota. Jeremiah Prophet little things in here or? Um, bolted on one extra, two extra accessories, the addition of an AC compressor because this has air conditioning. Nice. And also power steering. This, they were available in 1982 with power steering, but this one didn't have it. We did a new camshaft so that it had uh, the potential of having a little bit more power. Mm -hmm. And the engine was given a great deal of cosmetic attention at the same time. Lots of the uh, black parts that are subject, subject to engine temperatures were jet hot coated black, okay. or painted high temp black. Sure. And then lots of other powder coating. All the aluminum uh, pieces were powder coated, silver aluminum. And then every bit and piece of original zinc, bolts, brackets, um, fuel lines, brake lines were also refinished. And I think this is what they would have had to have looked like in 1982. You put a ton of time into this engine. And it's, it's awesome. It does look absolutely brand new. Well, let's, uh, let's move to the interior. All right. Uh, what makes an FJ40 classic inside? Oh, you know, there's so much about driving an FJ40 that, like I said before, you can't put your finger on it, but mm -hmm. it's just, a, it is uh, nostalgic and it, and it captures your imagination and you feel like you're back in time. This is the dash as it was. We have uh, the addition of two wheel drive low. Oh. And that's not from the factory. And no. then we have this re-screen printed to show that two-wheel drive low is now an option. And, and it, it looks it looks says original. At the bottom right there. It's hard to put a stereo in an FJ40 without cutting the dash out because a din a regular den size stereo won't fit in the original sure. hole. 
So very often, in fact, this one was one of them. Very often, you see, a, you know, they've cut it out bigger. Wow! And that that looks a lot like the original radio in this, which was was just an AM radio. These switches original? Yes. These one? Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. Those uh, those are restored in house with a very high tech device called a crayon. <laughs> no way. Yep. White and orange crayons, all you need. This is our family six point cage. Provides a lot more protection mm -hmm. and also gives us the opportunity to mount these three rigid A series lights. Um, and because the odometer in the original gauge cluster was broken, yeah. we went ahead and replaced it with one that had a, a new one. Sure. And so we were able to sort of start fresh with the whole. You went with a Tuffy security box. Those are nice. That's always a nice upgrade. It's, it's hard to beat them, huh? I yeah. Mean, this pad's been recovered with leather as the seats, and mm -hmm. so it's just comfortable. How about anything in the rear? You'll notice that we've built some custom speaker boxes. Uh, to house two six by nines, the roll cage actually goes up through the speaker box. Other than that, it has the original jump seats covered in leather um, on either side. And uh, this is a Profits rear bumper, right? Yeah, we we don't manufacture a lot of bumpers, mm -hmm. uh, but there wasn't really a really nice FJ40 rear bar mm -hmm. manufacturer. We decided we'd put this into production. I see that you went with a a latch and a pin. When you get it rocking back there, uh, sometimes things can pop open. So it's nice to have a positive system and then yeah. some redundancy. Yeah, that's nice. It is one extra step in unfolding it, but man, it's it's secure and it prevents all the rocking that happens. Right. That's so nice. We've got it set up so that if you did want access, you don't have to open both sides. The door uh, will clear the Hey, tire. that's awesome. So we have uh, the capability of putting it into summer mode. So there's a when you take the top off, Obviously, because the doors are hinged off of the body and off of the top, yeah. these can't stay. Right. So there's a tailgate that uh, bolts in place mm -hmm. that's finished with the same color and vortex on the inside. Cool. And then uh, there's half doors uh, to replace the front doors so that you don't have uh, the window and you can just kind of hold your arm ah, out. Sure. Bikini top for the that's uh, supported by the cage and is full length to keep everybody in the shade, front and rear. Well, this is the, the most beautiful FJ40 I've ever been around. So good work. Thank you. It's really cool to have been able to travel with you around the world, and who knows where we'll see each other again. Likewise. Right on. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. You bet. Bye.